Okay, so today I'm going to teach you how to harmonize F major scale in the bass, in the left hand. This is a scale with one flat. Let's take a look at our folding reed organ, Henrietta, which will be my keyboard for today. And this is our scale. One flat, starting and ending on the note F in the bass. So, to start with, we need a bigger distance between the hands because the left hand goes upward. So, then the right hand has to go downward, opposite direction, to avoid parallel fifths and octaves. So, we will start with the tonic chord, not here, not here, not here. But maybe even here, we could start here, but it's nice to have a distance an octave plus uh, a tenth, right? Uh, like a third plus a, a few octaves. Because it's opposite direction, F, A, S, F, G, A in the bass, A, G, F in soprano. So three notes in the right hand part, soprano, alto, tenor, and one in the bass. And that's the keyboard um, disposition, closed position. And then you are all set. So the first chord on the note F is obviously a tonic chord. On the note G, dominant 6-4 chord, passing chord basically. Tonic 6 chord on the note A, subdominant chord on the note B flat, dominant, and then 6 scale degree chord, and then dominant 6 5 chord. Let's take a look from the beginning without stopping. Yeah, there are various versions of this. You can have many options, but I think this one works just fine. So then downward, we start with the same chord, tonic. Now we could have uh, either tonic six, fo tonic four two chord, moving only the bass, or or dominant six. Let's move uh, with the tonic four two. It's very elegant, and then six scale degree chord on the note D. Dominant chord, dominant for two chord, tonic six chord on the note A, uh, first inversion seven scale degree chord, and tonic at the end. One more time. the downward version and now let's play entire thing without stopping here 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 how it sounds scale. I think this harmonization works really well 
for a major go ahead and practice on your own three times in a row without mistakes and then you can go on to the next scale which is d minor which i'll play for you next week <laughs>